now you have every every bit of ingredient that is required for you to understand what is arms length principle the technical language we'll read that as well let me explain to you what is the substance and then we'll read Okay, now I'll we'll start using AE, AE1, AE2, AE associated enterprise, right? So, arm's length principle, article 9 1. And chapter number 1, arm's length principle, four parts A, B, C, D, introduction. Introduction is taken care of, right? Now we are on the second section that is arm's length principle, right? I'll take it to the address after this explanation, right? Okay, so <clears throat> you have <clears throat> A1, A2, IND, independent, independent enterprise, one, independent price number two. I have, I have drawn in front of you two scenarios. I have drawn in front of you two scenarios wherein wherein we are having two transactions, that is two simultaneous transactions, license, IP is getting licensed, intellectual property or intangible. They are getting licensed between two enterprises. In the first scenario, you have two associated enterprises, A1 and A2, and in the second and in the second scenario, you have the Theoretically the same license and license and royalty payment between two enterprises which are not associated, which are independent. Fine. Theoretically speaking, let us assume that the license pertains to the same IP, same patent. Fine. Okay. So A2 licenses, A2 licenses a patent, pharma patent, any patent, tech, tech patent, software patent, any patent. To A1 and A1 pays a certain amount of royalty to A2. Fine. These firm blocks they indicate distinct companies, distinct legal entities. Blue. Fine. This red border indicates two jurisdictions. This is jurisdiction one. This is jurisdiction two. Countries. Fine. Independent independent enterprise one. Independent enterprise two. Two separate companies, separate companies, jurisdiction, same country, jurisdiction one, jurisdiction two. Fine. Right? So assume that same same patent is getting licensed between these two and these two. Fine. Right? Now I'll put I'll put a value, or rather I'll put I'll put a special condition that because these two are A's, can I say that this is MNE group? Everyone, yes or no? Can I draw a dotted circle indicating a many group? Yes or no? Yes. Oh. Yes? Yeah. This yes. is a many group? There, you don't have a group here. A many group. A many, a many, A1, A2, a many group. Flash, okay. A many group. A many group. Fine. Okay. License royalty. I'll put a value hundred dollars. It's very less, but so hundred dollar, hundred dollars, hundred dollar is the royalty payment which A2 receives. A2 receives 
ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ लाइसेंसिंग ऑफ दिस आई पी पेटेड टू ए वन फाइन हंड्रेड डॉलर नाउ माइंड यू आई वरी टोल्ड यू आई वरी टोल्ड यू दैट दीज आर एसोसिएटेड एंटरप्राइजेस एंड एसोसिएटेड एंटरप्राइज पेरेंट्स ऑफ पेरेंट्स ऑफ एसोसिएटेड एंटरप्राइजेस because they are associated they are a part of a unified whole I many group that is why special conditions exist between them special conditions exist between them supposing supposing a1 is a parent google us google india google us says okay you are licensing me a parent but i will give you only 100 dollars And because A two is owned, it's a separate and it's a separate entity, but it's owned by A one. It doesn't have any say. It has to accept. Okay, fine, fine. Same patent, similar patent is licensed between independent enterprise two and one. They are not associated, so no conditions, no special conditions exist between these two enterprises. Same patent, same patent is licensed, but in this case. Independent enterprise number two receives a royalty of dollar one twenty. You can make it one ten, one twenty, one thirty, one forty, whatever it is, but it is different. The patent is same, mind you. The patent is same, similar, almost similar. It is similar. But there, there is a difference between the payment that is received. There is a payment. There is a difference in the payments. Pricing of the transaction, more refined, more refined usage would be that there is a difference in the pricing of the transaction. What transaction? The license transaction, IP license transaction, and the royalty payment transaction. There is a difference in the payment. Why? Because there is special. There is a group of special condition. There is a group of special condition which attaches to these transactions. Why? Because these transactions, these transactions take place between two AEs, which are part of the MNE group. Nothing, no special condition exists here. This is a perfect example. I mean, near to perfect example of an open market transaction because these two are independent enterprises. Now, jurisdiction two. Jurisdiction two, tax authorities of jurisdiction jur, jurisdictions two, they are observing everything, and then they see what is happening. Same patent, getting license is fetching one twenty dollars, and similar patent getting license is fetching only hundred dollars. Is getting hundred dollars, then they start investigating what is the reason, and then they come to then they find oh voila. This payment is less. This remuneration is less because these are two associated enterprises. It means the level playing field does not exist. Level playing field does not exist. So what needs to be done in order to create a level playing field? We will treat. We will treat that the that that these two associated enterprises are not associated, but these are two separate entities. Separate entity approach. and how do we apply the separate entity approach in principle how do we apply the separate entity approach in practice we apply the separate entity approach by the means of arms length principle so when you apply ultimately what would you do what would you do tax authorities of country to jurisdiction to in order to in order to create this legal fiction that these two are not associated but separate they have to make certain adjustments they have to make certain adjustments so that the 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 presence of these special conditions which are reducing the remuneration those special conditions are are nullified so what adjustment is required the adjustment that is required is they will do this is 100 no 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 this should not be the 100 this should not be 100 this should be 120 So plus twenty, plus twenty dollars is the adjustment. In other words, this plus twenty dollars, this plus twenty dollars of revenue, 
प्रॉफिट दिश शुड हैव दिस शुड हैव अक्रूड दिस शुड हैव बीन रिसीव्ड बाय ए टू बाय बिकॉज अ सिमिलर पेटेंट इज गेटिंग लाइसेंस हियर एज वेल एज हेयर एंड देन दिस एंटिटी विच इज सेपरेट इज रिसीविंग वन ट्वेंटी देन दिस शुड दिस ए टू शुड ऑल्सो हैव रिसीव वन ट्वेंटी so if i want if i am to treat these two entities as separate i need to make an adjustment an upward adjustment of 20 dollars in the profits of a2 i will do that and once i increase the profits by 20 dollars this will this will nullify the effect of special conditions that exist in reality between a1 and a2 this is the substance of arms length principle is this entire exercise this explanation clear to everyone